Hey family, Robert here. So when animals get trained, when we teach them not to go urinate or defecate in the house, when we train horses to not be wild but allow people to ride on them, we are training them for the purpose of them to be obedient, to be obedient to their masters. And here, as we continue to look at the life of Noah, we see in Genesis chapter 7, beginning at verse 1, that Noah was obedient and Noah was faithful. It reads, Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of all clean animals, the male and his mate and a pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and his mate and seven pairs of the birds of the heavens also male and female, to keep their offspring alive on the face of all the earth. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth, forty days and forty nights. And every living thing that I have made, I will blot out from the face of the ground. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. Again, Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. So we left Noah off with God telling him that he would destroy the earth. But following our last devotion, we see Noah obediently going to build an ark, building it completely to the specifications and requirements of God. And then God told Noah to go get two of every kind of animal and bring them into the ark. And Noah obediently did that. And here in the text, God is telling him not just to get two of every animal, but then he said, get some extra clean animals, some extra animals that can be used for sacrifice later on. And Noah did that. And verse 5 summarizes the life of Noah. It summarizes everything that Noah did when it says that he did all the Lord commanded him to do. Noah is obedient. Noah is faithful. He is faithful to what God has commanded. Would you call yourself one who is faithful? Would you call yourself one who seeks to obey what the Lord has expressed clearly in his word? Would you consider yourself to be one who has a desire to follow after the Lord no matter what? Noah was righteous but he was also faithful to do what the Lord commanded him to do obediently. And as a result, Noah was saved from the judgment of the flood to come. So we pose these set of devotions. Why? Why did God choose Noah? God chose Noah because he was faithful. So with that, I hope that we too can be faithful like Noah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of the faithfulness of Noah. That despite the fact that it had probably never rained before, that God told him to build an ark, probably to the ridicule of a lot of the, his neighbors and the people around him. But he was faithful to do that despite anything or anybody else said he believed God. And he was obedient to God's calling. Give us the strength to despite the ridicule, despite the rejection, despite the opposition, to be faithful to you. And we will give you all the praise, the glory, the honor, and the worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to walk through this Noah Is series. God bless.